In this problem, we have the need to resolve a, a uh, force vector into horizontal and vertical components. If this is horizontal, and according to the problem, we have a 264 Newton force that is being applied at 56 degrees above the horizontal. 56 degrees is equal to our, our theta. We need to get the horizontal and vertical components of this particular force. And once again, what we have is the vertical component being here, the horizontal component being here. If our angle is here, then the vertical component, vertical component is equal to the side opposite, and the horizontal component is equal to the side that is adjacent. And so if we use our sine, cosine, and theta rules in connection with that, we can get these components. And the sine of theta, which is equal to the sine of 56 degrees, multiplied, multiplied by the hypotenuse, which is 264 newtons, is going to give to us the side opposite, which as we said is the vertical component. And that vertical component then is sine of 56 times 264, 218.8, so we'll go with 219 newtons. The side that is uh, adjacent, the horizontal component, is going to be equal to cosine of 56 degrees times our hypotenuse, 264 newtons. And again, that is equal to the side now adjacent. And if we put that in, cosine of 56 times 264 is equal to 147.6 or 148 newtons. And just as a little check, we think about the angle. Since the angle here is greater than, uh, than 45 degrees, we would expect the horizontal component to be somewhat uh, less than the vertical component. The vertical component, 219. The horizontal component being 148. And that should, uh, should make sense to us. As the angle gets steeper and steeper, the vertical component gets greater and greater while the horizontal component diminishes.